Hey everyone, so as requested, here is my technique on how to use Oticoat. Um, Oticoat, real quick, is just a coating that goes on fabrics um, and it creates a kind of like a waterproof, stain proof barrier um, between this material instead of it absorbing any stains or water because right now this is just plain cotton woven, um, quilting cotton, and I've interfaced it with some uh, woven interfacing. So what I have here is just a rough cut piece, right? So I'm actually using it for the zippy clutch, and this is the piece that I'm using. So I went ahead and I cut around so that it is bigger than what I actually need because Oticoat will also shrink down a little bit um, as it dries. So when you open the container, It looks like this, so it is like very gloppy like, um, almost like a cross between pudding and jello. So I use this. This is a just a regular foam brush that I got from Dollar Tree. Comes in a package that has like six or eight different size brushes. So just something really cheap. And I'm gonna go ahead and take some out. And just going to brush it across. So I also like to use a bigger piece because then I don't worry about uh, like the very edge of it not getting any coating on it um, because I will have coated everything and then trimmed it down to whatever my pattern piece requires. So this is my first coat, right? You can see the shine, so you can tell where you've missed um, and where you have already applied to. I like to close my container in between the layers so that it doesn't dry out. Um, and I did put down a trash bag um, to protect my table. And I do like to lift it up before I let it dry and just move it to a different spot that doesn't have um, eau de coat on it because it does adhere. So I don't want it to stick to the trash bag. Although if it could stick to anything, the trash bag's not gonna be as bad because it'll actually come off of that. Unlike if it stuck to something else where, you know, the layer is actually gonna come off as you peel the dried eau de coat off of it as well. So now we're going to let it dry and I would say half an hour-ish, so usually I'll go do something else and then I'll suddenly remember to come back. So we're going to let this dry for a little bit and then we will be back. Okay, so now it is dry. Now I'm going to go ahead and put another coat on. So after the original coat, oops, and make sure if you have frame fabric that the thread does not get stuck in the older coat because it will leave a mark. So I'm going to apply another coat. And I don't know if you can tell but there are brush marks um that are pretty noticeable to me at least i don't like it so i like to use a credit card or some type of card and then i'll go back in and kind of just scrape off the excess see you'll see the extra come off I go both directions and then we're gonna let that dry and come back later okay and now we are back for our third and final coat so we are dry whoops sorry about the camera moving and just gonna take a little bit 
and do the exact same thing I've been doing. Just making sure that I get all the areas. Ooh, and don't be me because I shed a lot of hair and I managed to get stray hair stuck in there. So good thing I figured that out while it was still wet so that I could take it out without it causing a weird texture. So now I'm going to go take my credit card, go back through, take off all of the excess. Why did I close this? Because I have to put that back. And go in a different direction. Alright, so now the last step is to let it dry again. And then we are going to heat set it. And I find that that makes all the difference. So see y'all in about an hour. Okay, so the last step is to take your heat press, your iron, what have you. I use this Singer heat press. And I'm going to take my fabric and put it on there. Make sure it's dry. I'm going to take my Teflon sheet and put it over so that... Um, the stickiness does not get on my iron or press plate or heating plate whatever it is and I am just going to close it for a little bit by a little bit I mean like maybe five to seven seconds and open it back up so after you press it it kind of like smooths out the texture make sure that it's not like bumpy or raised I also feel like it helps absorb into the fabric a little more too and it's gonna be kind of hard to tell but like it's definitely thicker um, even with the interfacing on it earlier and then you can also see that sheen that is on there and now it is water resistant